Once upon a time in the year 1559, little Matsudera Nobuyasu was born in the infamous Suruga Castle, where his father, Tokugawa Ieyasu, was living the hostage life. Just like his dear old dad, Matsudera Nobuyasu was given the childhood name Takechio, and his nickname was Saburo. The young lad's mother, Lady Tsukiyama, was a fascinating character herself. She was the lawful wife of Tokugawa Ieyasu, whom he married at the ripe old age of 16. Now, get this. Lady Tsukiyama was the daughter of Sekaguchi Chikayasu, a big-shot retainer of the Imagawa clan. But wait, it gets even juicier. Sekaguchi Chikayasu's wife happened to be the sister of Imagawa Yoshimoto, the 11th lord of the Imagawa clan. Some folks even whispered that Lady Tsukiyama was the niece of Imagawa Yoshimoto herself. Well, let me tell you, things were really shaking up around the time Matsudera Nobuyasu entered this world. You see, his dad, Tokugawa Ieyasu, was knee-deep in a big mess. His lord and master, Imagawa Yoshimoto, was expanding his territory from Suruga to Makawa province flexing his muscles in the eastern lands. And where was dear old dad? Right in the thick of it. Tokugawa Ieyasu, being the loyal servant he was, had to quell a massive rebellion that had erupted in Makawa province. Boy, talk about having a hands-on parenting experience. Now, the Imagawa clan was all a buzz, Especially since just the year before Matsudera Nobuyasu was born, their twelfth lord, Imagawa Yujizane, had taken over the reins. And you know what they say about good old Yujizane? He had his sights set on invading Awari province, where those pesky Oda folks were causing a ruckus. Oh boy, it was about to be a clash of the titans. Now, let me tell you about a turning point in Matsudera Nobuyasu's life. It was the year 1560 when the mighty forces of the Imagawa clan clashed with the Oda clan in the famous Battle of Akehazama. In this battle, Imagawa Yoshimoto, the lord of the Imagawa clan, met his untimely demise, and the Oda clan emerged victorious. With this victory, the Imagawa clan fell from grace, and Tokugawa Ieyasu, Matsudera Nobuyasu's father, saw an opportunity to assert his independence from the Imagawa clan and unify Makawa province under his rule. In 1562, Tokugawa Ieyasu laid siege to Yurinobu Castle and captured the sons of Yudo no Nagatori, the lord of the castle and the relative of the Imagawa clan. These two sons, Yudo no Ujinaga and Yudo no Ujitsugu, were taken as hostages. In exchange for the safe return of the hostages, Tokugawa Ieyasu demanded that his own family, including Lady Tsukiyama, Matsudera Nobuyasu, and his daughter, Princess Kamaheim, be released from their hostage status in Suruga Castle. The hostage exchange took place, and Matsudera Nobuyasu, along with his family, moved to the newly returned Okazaki Castle where Tokugawa Ieyasu had regained control. After the hostage ordeal came to an end, Tokugawa Ieyasu formed an alliance with Oda Nobunaga of Awari province, known as the Kiyosu Alliance, in 1567. As a result of this alliance, Matsudera Nobuyasu, who was only nine years old at the time, entered into a political marriage with Oda Nobunaga's daughter, Lady Tokuhime. Though they were still just children, the marriage was arranged by their parents for political purposes, and they began their life together at Okazaki Castle. Later on, as Tokugawa Ieyasu sought to expand his influence, he moved his base to Hamamatu Castle, and Matsudera Nobuyasu was handed over the lordship of Okazaki Castle by his father. Around this time, a trusted retainer of Tokugawa Ieyasu since his youth, Hiraiwa Chikayoshi, was appointed as Matsudera Nobuyasu's mentor. Thus, Matsudera Nobuyasu, after his coming-of-age ceremony, officially became the lord of Okazaki Castle in 1570 and embarked on his path as a warrior. 
Oh, the twists and turns of fate in young Nobuyasu's life. But fear not, for in the realm of storytelling, even the most unexpected twists can be accompanied by a sprinkle of American humor. Ah, the tragic tale of Matsudera Nobuyasu's untimely demise. It is a story filled with both sorrow and the harsh realities of life. But fear not, for even in the darkest moments, a touch of American humor can lighten the mood. After Matsudera Nobuyasu's remarkable debut on the battlefield in 1573, he accompanied his father, Tokugawa Ieyasu, in numerous battles and grew into a courageous warrior. In the midst of the conflict between the Takeda clan, who were expanding their territory into Makawa province, and Tokugawa Ieyasu, Matsudera Nobuyasu repeatedly demonstrated his military prowess and contributed to the victories of the Tokugawa forces. His bravery on the battlefield captured the attention of many. And surely everyone envisioned a bright future for him as Tokugawa Ieyasu's successor. However, young Matsudera Nobuyasu's promising life would be shattered by none other than his lawful wife, Lady Tokuhime. In 1575, it was revealed that a Tokugawa retainer, Oga Yashira, was colluding with the Takeda clan. This incident raised suspicions that Lady Tsukiyama and Matsudera Motonobu, Matsudera Nobuyasu's mother and maternal grandfather, were involved in the treasonous act. Around the same time, Lady Tokuhime sent a letter to her father, Oda Nobunaga, denouncing Lady Tsukiyama and Matsudera Nobuyasu. Hearing his daughter's anguished cry for justice, Oda Nobunaga confronted his uncle and senior retainer of the Tokugawa clan, Sakai Tadatsugu. It is said that instead of offering a defense, Sakai Tadatsugu admitted to the contents of the letter. Thus, the suspicions against Lady Tsukiyama and Matsudera Nobuyasu grew stronger. In 1579, under Oda Nobunaga's orders, Matsudera Nobuyasu was expelled from Okazaki Castle and placed under house arrest at Namata Castle in Totomi Province. Tokugawa Ieyasu found himself in a dilemma. Forced to choose between the lives of his wife and son or the alliance with Oda Nobunaga. But alas, the story takes a tragic turn. Soon after, Lady Tsukiyama was executed by Tokugawa retainers. And Matsudera Nobuyasu, at his father's command, took his own life through ritual suicide, known as seppuku. Matsudera Nobuyasu, unable to clear his name from the suspicions cast upon him, left this world at the tender age of 21. Oh, the irony of fate and the bitter end that awaited Matsudera Nobuyasu. It's as if life played a cruel jest on this young warrior. But even in the face of tragedy, a dash of American humor reminds us of the resilience of the human spirit and the power of laughter to overcome the darkest of moments. Legend has it that Matsudera Nobuyasu, along with his stepmother, Lady Tsukiyama, found themselves accused and condemned for a grave offense. The popular belief was that Lady Tsukiyama, unable to bear a male heir, had grown resentful of Matsudera Nobuyasu and their relationship had turned sour. Moreover, as Lady Tsukiyama hailed from the Imagawa clan, tensions between her and Matsudera Nobuyasu, who was from the Tokugawa clan, further fueled the suspicions against them. But hold on a second. Let's not jump to conclusions based on those rumors alone. After all, history can be like an American joke, filled with unexpected twists and turns. The prevailing theory, sourced from the Makawa Monogatari, a document written during the early days of the Tokugawa Sogonate, may have been biased by the Tokugawa perspective. So, we need to take it with a pinch of salt. Just like a sprinkling of comedy in our story. In reality, there are no concrete historical records supporting the claim that Lady Tsukiyama was involved in clandestine activities with the Takeda clan. It is entirely possible that they were victims of a grave miscarriage of justice, trapped in a web of false accusations. History can be stranger than fiction. 
just like an American joke that leaves you scratching your head in disbelief. On the other hand, during the Kane era of the Edo period, the Tandai Ki chronicled instances of Matsudera Nobuyasu's misconduct. Allegedly, Matsudera Nobuyasu's ruthless behavior towards his retainers had led to his estrangement from his father. Tokugawa Ieyasu. This alternative theory proposes that Matsudera Nobuyasu's tragic end may have been a consequence of his strained relationship with his own father. Rather than an order from Oda Nobunaga. Now, here's a twist worthy of an American sitcom. When Matsudera Nobuyasu was ordered to commit seppuku, his loyal retainer, Hiraiwa Chikiyoshi, made an astonishing offer. Chikiyoshi volunteered to sacrifice his own life in place of Matsudera Nobuyasu, a selfless act of devotion that could rival the punchlines of any American joke. However, despite Chikiyoshi's noble gesture, Matsudera Nobuyasu met his tragic end. Imagine if Matsudera Nobuyasu had a group of loyal retainers like Chikiyoshi. Armed with the wit and humor of American comedians. They would have gathered around, pleading for mercy in a way that would have left everyone laughing and teary-eyed simultaneously. Perhaps. In this alternative version of history, Matsudera Nobuyasu would have lived to see a different path unfold. One where he and his father, Tokugawa Ieyasu, rewrote the annals of Japan's future in a comedy of errors. So, as we explore the enigmatic truth behind the Matsudera Nobuyasu incident, let's remember that history, like an American joke, is a blend of fact and fiction, with twists that keep us guessing.